I, girl, I just want to ask you one little question. One baby little question. Why is it that you think you do not deserve a whole man, an established man, a built man, a prepared man? I just don't understand why you feel the need to want a man that you got to build up and help him and send him to school and struggle with him. I, 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 I understand it, sis. I understand it. Now, I want to make a, um, a differentiation, and I'm going to do a separate video on this because someone emailed me. The girls that you've been with your boyfriend since high school and you're still struggling to make it, I'm not talking to y'all. Y'all's situation is a little bit different, okay? I have to figure out a way to kind of talk to you guys, but if you've been with your boyfriend forever and y'all struggling to make it, this this my content is not for you. My content is mostly for women who are single, though you are single, who is dating for marriage, who still have a right, who still has the opportunity to choose their mate, okay? You been with your boyfriend since high school, y'all struggling to make it, yeah, it's not for you, okay? Uh, but what I am trying to do is trying to get my girls not to do that. Okay, you get with him 18, 19, you've been in high school, y'all struggling to make it, okay? Uh -uh. I'm trying to get my young ladies, don't do that. Choose, that's why I don't believe in boyfriends. My new book coming out soon, my formatter, my formatter. Uh, my new book coming out soon talks about that, how from three and four year olds, you, 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 boyfriend is in your head. And so you just keep boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend. After boyfriend. And what I'm trying to get us to do is to stop that. Stop putting that in our girls and our boys' heads. Stop that. Teach them to be wives. Teach them to be husbands. Teach them to prepare themselves to be husbands and teach the girls to prepare themselves to be wives. Don't be girlfriends. Don't accept girlfriends. Don't struggle with no man. Don't do it, okay? So if you're in that boat that yeah, I can't, yeah, this is not for you, okay? So don't be Oh, fame. That's why you know, I feel so bad because me and my boyfriend, we've been together since 15 and we, we know 25. We still struggling to make it this year. My content is not for you. OK, uh, welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married to. My name is Jean. Thanks for your love and support with my channel. 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate the love. Keep on. Please continue to share my channel. Invite others to view it. Thank you for your love and support with my books. 23 types of guys you might meet. See, you might uh, meet ladies. You get to choose when you boyfriend at 18 and 15 in high school. You're not you're, you're not really choosing. OK, because you don't know what you're doing. It's oh he likes me. I like him. OK. And you kind of struggle together until y'all make it. Uh -uh. OK. Most of gratitude journal right in here. Those of you ladies, I'm telling you to get your journals and write order this journal right in it. OK, the naked wife. A lot of women marry wrong and become the naked wife. Uh, moments of gratitude. These are my journal entries, some of them from over 20 years ago. And of course, in Christ, I am somebody asked yesterday, Janice, why don't you have black people on your covers? And I'm saying you obviously you need glass glasses because I have three books with my beautiful black daughter on it. OK. All right. We're talking about Kara and Jason. And I'm just realizing I did not upload my my pictures. So let me put my daughter up here while I talk so y'all can look at the black girl on my book cover. OK. Kara and oh, let me show you who Kara is. I, I'm trying to like Kara. I didn't do my video on her yet, but I'm trying to like her. It's just that I feel like she's about to drop a bomb on me. <laughs> and I don't want to be like, I don't want, I don't want to be like, oh no, she didn't. Okay. So I'm trying my best uh to like her. Okay. Kara, Lord Jesus, what what I save it as? Okay, I'm trying to like her. She's saying a lot of things that I like. I'm, you know, like I'm the I'm the prize. No, no, no. You you pursue me and all of those good things. I love it. Okay, Kyra, why didn't come up? And she went on a date this week with Jason, and I love the date. I'm gonna come back and talk about the date. 
But I wanted to talk about this because she's being attacked on social media in some of the groups. Y'all might not know that. You know, you're in certain groups and people post and people go in on it. And a couple of posts was they were saying, well, what's wrong with her? Why you don't want a man uh, that's depressed and, and people got depressed and all of this stuff. And, 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 and she's stuck up and, 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 and you, could, you could help him and, you know, help him through his depression. Ain't nothing wrong with nobody that's depressed and, and, and all of this stuff. And I, 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 I said, I commented. And I said, but a, a husband is a choice. You get to choose your husband. Nobody, you don't get, you don't have to choose a man that you don't want, that you know might be something that has an issue. And she said, she said, I've had depression in my family and it ended really badly. Okay. So she basically, and I, I'm going to come back and talk about that, but I just want to talk about. How is your husband is your choice? This is Jason. Jason is the coach that Alexis, the hot mama, the aggressive woman like, right? So they went out on this date and, you know, they're talking. I'm going to come back and I'm going to break the date down for you because there's some really significant things that was said in it. But anyways, he brought up that he's some, that depression, Jason, this is Jason, has caused him to not... But there have been some I did not follow through. OK, so he said there are some things that he started to do and he did not follow through. And the reason why he couldn't follow through is what? Because oh, I say the same picture twice. Let me delete this one. Let me save the other one. He said it's because cause of depression. Right. Let me find it. So Kara then says, Kara then says, look at her. She says, I've had depression in my family. This is in her voiceover. This is not to him. She played, she played it off really, really good. She says in her voiceover, you know what? I've had depression in my family. It did not end really well. And she just want to make sure it's not a red flag. Well, people in the groups or saying, well, why is somebody dealing with depression a red flag? And my comment was like, well, you know, this is her husband. She's looking for a husband. She gets to choose who she wants to be married to and spend the rest of her life with. And if she doesn't feel, if she feels that someone with depression, clinically depression, is a red flag that is her right to feel that way and perhaps perhaps that's not something she wants to deal with like she says she's had depression in her family she um it ended really bad and to her the, you know ah uh -uh, i don't want to deal with that and i think i think we are not we are not allowed to be to be um uh, to be, especially black women. It's like for the black woman, a single black woman that's dating, it's like we are just supposed to take up men with all kind of um, factors. Let me not say issues, but factors and deal with it. She should date this man who has depression and deal with it. And, and no, Kara, you don't have the right to choose not to be with somebody who has depression. As a black woman, you are supposed to get with the black man who has depression and help him through it and struggle through it. Because this is what we were taught, right? We were taught as black women, get with the man and build him up and fix him up and help him to, to uh, help him to 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 get on his feet and and help him because to to most in the church why can't i find this picture to most in the church a helpmate is somebody to help you help you pay the bills help you fix you up you know get you to go to college get get him to get a job get him to stay stable you know and that's not what a helpmate is 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 about not from the biblical perspective that's not a helpmate so i'm going to come back I'm going to come back and I'm going to work, write a book on it. 
um, because I really want to hone in on what God's will and plan for a helpmate is. But let me tell you, ladies, that's single, that's dating for marriage, okay? Helpmate ain't got nothing to do with helping, helping him uh, to pay bills. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and pay the bills. Okay. Helpmate ain't got nothing to do with picking up a man who has not become a man and help him to become a man. That's not what it means to be a helpmate. The picture's not coming up, Lord Jesus. Okay. That's not what it means to be a helpmate. But I'm going to come back and talk extensively about what it means to be a helpmate because that's not what it is. But in the black church, that's what they define the helpmate is. Okay, I found it, Jason. Hey, boo boo. Get with him, fix him up, help him. So, what he's depressed. You can help him. You can get him to the counseling. She even asked him, well, have you been to counseling? He said, yes, I've been to counseling. Now, the, the, the re, one of the things I don't like about Jason, I'm going to come back and talk to you about it. He's real suspicious to me. Okay, there you go. He said, you know, it could have been depression. He said he started some stuff and have, uh, have been some I did not follow through. You know, it could have been depression. Kara then says, I've dealt... I've dealt with depression in my family and it ended in a very uh, traumatic way. And then she says that I'm not going to post them because I don't have time. Um, I just want to make sure this is not a red flag. And so people were talking about why is depression a red flag? A husband is a choice. Okay. A husband is a choice. This is why you get to choose your husband. If she don't want to choose somebody who struggles with depression, that is her right. You get to choose. Stop acting like a husband is forced on you. You get to choose. You talk to him. You get to know him. And, and you say, well, you know, can we, can we uh, have a marriage, a successful marriage, and have a life together? You get to choose. You don't need to choose somebody who has depression. You don't have to choose somebody who's broken, busted, disgusting. You don't have to choose somebody who ain't got no job, a criminal. You don't have to choose nobody who, who you don't have to choose a Chris who want to be taken care of. You don't have to choose any of those things. You can choose a prepared man, a whole man, and if that's in all type of way. My auntie, Auntie Rose, I, there was this guy that loved her. You know, we were teenagers, like 18, 19. We was like, Auntie G, love you. Oh my God, why you don't? He's wonderful. He do. He would do anything for her. She said, girl, no. She would tell her. She said, girls, no, honey, he got diabetes. Don't you ever marry a man that got diabetes, honey, because the blood don't flow down in the land of Gilead. I said, what you, what they mean? You know, be 18, 19, you're stupid. You ain't got no sense. But she said, don't work, girl. Girl, it don't work. And I never forgot that. So if I met a man that says he's diabetic and I know somebody's going to come on here and have defensive, hello, the naked wife, and be defensive about it. Honey, let me tell I ran for the hills. No. Nope. Matter of fact, when I was dating, he had to be healthy, have a full bill of health because I was healthy. I had a full bill of health. I had no STD. You can't have no STD, okay? I ain't got no blood, high blood pressure, no no cholesterol. I ain't got none of them problems, okay? Diabetes, none of it. Was it, is it diabetic, diabetes, diabetic? None of that. You got none of them issues. I'm not interested. I, I'm sorry. Granted, as people get older, you know, people face different issues. So based on where you are, you have to make your decision based on that. I was in my 30s. So, you know, you in your 30s with all these problems. I'm sorry. I just get married. Okay. So, ladies, I want you to know. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys forever. I want you to know a husband is a choice. You get to choose him. You don't have to listen to the old angry black people in the church that tell you take 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 Pookie from the jailhouse, pick him up from the jail and take care of him. He ain't got no job. Ray Ray ain't got no job. Help him out. You don't have to do that. You can choose the man that is best for you that will give you the best probability of success. I like that word. Choose somebody 
that will give you the best probability of success. Brothers, I'm, I'm working on something because y'all been asking me for something, but I'm gonna just let y'all know, beware of Jezebels, okay? You beware of the Jezebels out here in these streets, but I'm, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna write something for y'all and I'm gonna talk to my dad and get some wisdom from him about what I need to say to you guys. But for the ladies, let me tell you, you get to choose. Don't be crying later, okay? If anybody, any of you girls has been listening to my content over the last year, let me say year, I've been on YouTube for two years. Let me say one year. If you've been listening to my content for a year and you choose wrong and you end up becoming the naked wife, baby, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. You don't have to choose somebody who will not give you a high probability of success. Choose the best man for the job. Choose the best person. This is why you don't get emotionally involved. This is why you don't meet a man and make him your man. And I have to run, girl. I got to go. I love you. 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 Let me know what you think. Books available on Amazon. Bye.